I'm Dana Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And today we're cooking a recipe out of en the Engine 2 cookbook, and it is called Lo Mein Noodle Sauce. And I was so excited when we finally invented this because, like, my kids were younger, and I, I just wanted to get them to eat food. Um, and so this was a great way to get some flavor and, to be honest, some, like, calories into the kids because this has uh, some nuts and sesame seeds that are part of the recipe which sort of up the calories, but it's, it's there's it's awesome a, recipe it is. And Ooh. my mom's always like, Jane, what's this sauce again? Whenever I make it, what is this sauce again? Because she just loves it so much. So it's on page 74 in the Engine 2 cookbook, if you're following along. We love our new cookbook stand. They're available now, by the but way. Best of all is are the noodles. Oh, I know. We're going to go. Yeah, okay. Can, can I, I talk? You can talk about the noodles if you want. Yeah. Well, Jane but, has these two basamati rice. Uh, that's good. But, holy crow, these Forbid forbidden rice ramen noodles by Lotus Foods blow my mind. So first thing we're going to have is the walnuts. And <clears throat> if you have walnut pieces, great. Um, I have walnut holes, so I added a little bit more than usual. I think the usual amount is about anywhere between one third to one half a cup. That was probably uh, one half with a few extra. Um, and then, uh, oh, you know what is the most important thing? And wait, can you come over here? Is toasting your um, sesame seeds. We have the, our sesame seeds are toasting here on the stove, just so they get kind of brown and fragrant. See how brown and fragrant they are? It smells so good. All right, thanks. All right, and then we're going to add these um, to the uh, Cuisinart or the high speed blender because they're going to become part of this yummy, yummy, yummy sauce. How much? How many sesame seeds are there? Oh, about a third of a cup or so. Um, I'm not paying too close attention to the amount there. Yeah. Oh, no. I hate to say it. I can't tell if it says half cup or third cup. It's tiny, tiny um, writing. And then we're going to add tamari, low sodium tamari. We're going to add maple syrup. And looks like I have a third of a cup I poured in there. Um, and my mom is busy cleaning everything, putting everything away. But, Anne, I need you to do this. I have This is your job. We need one tablespoon of fresh ginger, I believe. Um, one tablespoon of fresh ginger, two tablespoons of water, and a couple squirts of uh, I never hot peel sauce. ginger. I, I never peel ginger. I mean, I cut off the stuff that looks really kind of rugged, but I, I, I mean, why, why peel it? Yeah. Although it's kind of fun if you do peel it to use a spoon. We'll, if we ever have a big thing of ginger out here, we'll, we'll peel it with a spoon. It's a, it is a cool way to do it. All right, well, while Anne's doing that, I actually um, might take this moment to talk about what we're going to put our lo mein noodle sauce on, and that is basmati rice and... Do you have a tablespoon? I think this Bas is about right. <laughs> Oh, let's... let's, let's let, do you want to chop finer? No, no, we're just going to go in here. We'll, someone might get a couple big I chunks. never chop fine enough. She dices her ginger. Her ginger is cubed. Jane. <laughs> I'm kidding, love. All right, so let's, um, I'll get to this in a second. This sauce and just blur, 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 blur. Oh, hot sauce. Wade would want a lot of this. He's a big sriracha guy. I'm gonna put a squirt in there. Actually, two squirts. Okay. And this, um, I'm just going to get some of the sesame seeds that made it to the top. But this is just making its way to be a, a sauce. And what happens is the nuts and the sesame seeds um, just break down, crush up, and it has sort of a lumpy texture just because it's got walnuts and some sesame seeds but it is delicious. And I guess when I knew that we had the right recipe when my kids were eating tons of it. I mean, you know, little kids eating a brown sauce on their pasta. You know, every, oh, the size. Okay, All right, wait, wait, you have your tovolo too. But that's not as good as that, the size. This is missing its nose from being cut off by blades. <laughs> For the sides are right, okay. I think this is good. All right. Um, here, smell that, Molly. What do you think? 
Ah, all the side stuff would be nice to. Here, we'll get it now. Ooh, oh, it just. Smells. I wish we could pass the smell through the camera. Yeah. Wait, is there any way to pass the smell of vision? <laughs> Okay, so here is this delicious sauce. I don't know if it's going to fit in here, but let's try to pour it in there. Perfect. It's going to be perfect. All right. So um, here is our lo mein noodle sauce. Can we grab a quick spoon so we can get a spoon for the lo mein noodle sauce? Here. All right. Um, and so what we're going to have, son, I'm finally talking about what I'm so excited about, which is this Lotus Foods Basmati rice and um, forbidden rice ramen um okay if you want to get every last last drop out you can do that but i'm going to talk about these these two great things so basmati rice you guys have probably heard of it basmati rice is kind of known for its beautiful sort of fluffiness and it's really fragrant but this is the mother of all basmati and i have some notes i actually want to don't don't want to forget some of the things about them so this basmati rice by lotus foods um is pretty amazing because they source this in India with um, this regenerative organic certification, which is like no other. And basmati, which means possess possessing of a fragrance, um, is unique to India. The way that like scotch has to come from Scotland or the way that champagne has to come from champagne. They have that regional, oh, what's it called? I want to get it right. Um, the geographic indication is protect for, for, for the protected heritage. So this basmati rice that they have is so fragrant and so delicious and so fluffy. Um, I actually have some here today. And Jane, I, I, I didn't know that about there with the basmati. Yeah. So um, I, but, but this is my favorite rice, and it actually, it, it was warm, and I put a I put a little lid on it. But now it's it's not as fluffy, but it's really it's my favorite rice. Um, and then this is Anne. She was. You want to keep talking no, about that? No, I mean a bit. it's just. When, it, when Jane has a little ball of it and she's about to, put it, I just love taking hunks out of the bowl. Yes. And so here is the, um, here are these. Oh, like this. <laughs> yes. Look, isn't so that forbidden, just so appealing? But this forbidden, this Lotus, oh. Lotus Foods forbidden rice I, or noodles I need to talk about. Or the, forbidden. But the thing is, when things are black, it's got so much more power in it. I want to talk about. Oh. So. Ah. Lotus Foods, this company, which is amazing, mm. they've been around since I think, I could be wrong, but 1995-ish. Um, there would be no Lotus Foods without Forbidden Rice, and there'd be no Forbidden Rice without Lotus Foods. It's such an interesting love story. Um, Karen and Ken, I'm hoping... I'm is this all them. you made? <laughs> oh. um, they actually went to China to do marketing research about this company of uh, rice and whatnot, and they had black rice when they were in China, and it was so good. And it was um, they were it was uh, known as emperor's rice because the emperor who lived in the forbidden city would all, the only one who could eat the for, for the um, emperor's rice because it was so high in like you were saying, mommy, phytochemicals which are antioxidants and are so good and helpful with your you know in longevity. I mean, it was called longevity rice. So this longevity rice, they were like, um, oh, we you know what what can we do? And he said, Ken had a great idea. He said, let's call it forbidden rice. And that's how this whole thing was was hatched. But here's some cool facts about uh, forbidden rice, which is the black rice, um, and they actually uh, make black rice ramen noodles and black rice noodles. Sorry, black rice rice noodles. Um, but here's some I facts about go the for black any, rice. Anything black when I can get it. It's got way, way yeah. more uh, power to it. So it's grown in northeast China. And it's this unique subarctic zone. Sorry for all my notes here. I couldn't remember all these cool facts, but it had these this uh, up in the subarctic zone in China. They have a really long growing season, and uh, these the rice is cold tolerant, and it grows along the Black Dragon River. It's called. I'm going to try to say it. I'm going to say it wrong. I apologize. Helio Long John Province, which means Black Dragon River. I almost want to call it Black Dragon Rice, but the Forbidden Rice is an awesome name. Don't get me wrong. So it's grown in small batches on these family farms. And it's not commercially grown. So it's giving these people, you know, a, a, a income and of jobs, and but it's not on commercial scale. So it's really healthy and it's delicious. And Jane, I, I, I want to just taste it now. Wait, what if I just dip it into the sauce? Like well, I was this? going to be more proper and serve I just am going to dip so it. So, Wade, you want to try some, um, some, what do you want? Noodles? I'm uh, thinking noodles. Yeah, you're thinking noodles? Okay. And I have a bowl of noodles for well, you. Uh, yeah, so oh. here you go. Much better. 
Dipped in? Dripped. No, no. All right, Wade. Hammer down. Because you, you don't need to this. worry about how you eat it. Oh, we should put some scallions on here or something. Right, let's, let's just get right to it. I can't wait to have I have a few on my rice. I can't wait to have it on my rice. And do you want some on your on your noodles? Uh, no, I'm going to dip. Do you keep dipping it? Okay, dip away. Wait, here. I have a few noodles. I mean, look. Okay. Wade, do you want some? Wade, he's, would you like he's, to He's bring... already stirring his up. Oh. I'm, I'm going to do this. Oh. oh, yeah. Here you go. It'll be a good photo. It'll be a really good shot. Okay. Mm. What do you think, Wade? Oh, it's, it's amazing. Dragon River? No, Black Dragon. Dragon. What's it called? It's so good. It's amazing, but it's the best when you can just pick it mm. up and dip it. <laughs> oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh, my gosh. This is really... It's like melting in your mouth. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it amazing? All right. So, you guys, please enjoy your lo mein sauce. And on, I, I can't tell you how much we love this organic products from Lotus Foods when we have this, um, especially our forbidden Black River. One last yes. dip. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, <laughs> enjoy your lo mein. Mm. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Mm. <laughs> Bye.